In one of my previous videos, I mentioned RK Hunter. Thought we'd have a look at it today. It's Root Kit Hunter. So Root Kit Hunter essentially looks for root kits on your file system and in other various places as well. We'll have a quick look at it and, and to see just how useful it is. I use it. I use it probably not as much as I could do, but I use it sporadically every now and then. So let's jump in uh, and see what it can do for us. So again, putty, sorry. It's pretty much my only choice, really. I could use it from Windows Command Prompt or PowerShell and just SSH in that way. But I like that I can just click on this and get on with it. Anyway, so we're in Root's home directory and RK Hunter is installed. To install it, you just go package, install RK Hunter. Most recent version is installed. Of course it is, I've installed it. So let's have a quick look at it and see what it does. Here we go. So running it with no options gives you pretty much the man page for it. Well, it gives you the help for it. Here's the man page. Shell script which carries out various checks on the local file system, no, on the local system to try and detect known rootkits and malware. So it's not really antivirus, but it, it's, it's a little bit more in depth than antivirus. But at the same time, it doesn't come with a lot of the things that you would get with normal AV. At the bottom of this, there should be, which there isn't. <laughs> well, I wonder if that's actually there. Let's have a look. ETC, RK. No, it's not. So you have to add that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go RK Hunter. Update. Make sure it's all up to date. And it is. Excelente. Probably the best thing to do when you're first using it. You can set it up as a cron job. That's good. I should probably do that. Ah, look at that. So it can integrate with PKG. Okay, so let's um, let's give it a go. So RK Hunter. Check. Here it goes. Now I'm assuming that it's checking against the previous version and most of this will have changed from the last time I did it purely because it's been updated. There we go, checking for rootkits. This will be really embarrassing if it finds some. Because it's been well over a year since I did this. memory serves me this also checks against uh, the UEFI firmware and, and checks that it's not compromised as well this is good ooh yeah, password file changes, group changes, SSH root access is allowed, but not from the outside world. Here we go. No root kits, but it did find a few issues, and, and mainly they were things that have just been changed from the last time I ran RK Hunter. If I run it again now, it should have updated that. Interesting that it hasn't. So what we'll do then is we will quickly check the log and see why it's warning about those files. Okay. 
Yeah, there we go. So last time this was run was when it was 13 stable. It's now 14.1. Because of the change, file properties checks may give some false positive results. You may need to rerun RK Hunter with the prop up D option. I think that is probably sound advice. Yeah, look, see? So let's come out of there. Run it again. There we go, that's better. Interesting that there's still still some warnings. I wonder what they are. We'll check that in a sec. One minute, one second. I'm I'm running this in, in real time. I'm not gonna fast forward or, or cut much out. I want you guys to see just how quick it is and how easy it is for you to run this. Like like I said, you can run it in a, a cron job. There is the option to add that, and I, I will probably do that in a little while. Once we've gone through the log file again and uh, we'll check out the configuration file for it as well so let's check out the first warning yeah i wonder if i just need to run it without the check but just the pop up d uh it is the user's responsibility to ensure that <clears throat> when the prop up d option is used all the files on their system are known to be genuine so this is probably best done on a clean system when you know it's all good and keep going from there correct it has okay yeah that's also true get has been replaced by a script use a local bin get Perl script tech executable didn't know that log out posix shell script yeah we knew about that okay so that's fine so what we'll do is we'll just run it with without checking there we go so let's go into user local etc and there should be an rk hunter in here there it is rkhunter.conf let's have a look at the configuration file and see what we can change to make it a bit more in depth mail on warning temp der script der binder yeah language log file append log is zero which is uh, set this option to one if the log file is to be appended to whatever yeah a value of zero recalls a new log file which is what we've got and copy log error color set to zero which is off auto detect x white listed is white now because i do do this i'm going to change this to yes that's good ssh config der enable tests all disable tests interesting i wonder why they're disabled I might just yeah I might just uh override the default I override what's there I'm, i can't help but wonder why they're like that i wonder if that's because they're not relevant to freebsd because this runs on other systems as well we shall see okay there's quite a lot in here and mostly the stuff that i want is already set by default so that's good inet d x inet d password file UID zero accounts, yeah, so root and tour, that whitelist, we don't need any of that. Interesting. Yeah, we've only gone up on the OS change, so when I went from 13 to 14, one, it showed up, of course. Locking, don't care about locking, unhide test, okay. Yeah, so there's a lot in that. Let's run it again. Of course, rkhunter.conf has changed, I just changed it. So it may be that the options that I just enabled aren't really for FreeBSD, which is fine. So there we go. A little bit longer, no issues. There are a few warnings though. Suspect files, yeah, we went through those before. So what we'll just do is pop up D. There we go. Okay, let's set up that cron job, shall we? Uh, man, RK Hunter. Pretty sure there was the cron in here. There we go. This is similar to the check command option, but it disables several of the interactive options. When this option is used by check, no color skip now, how changed. By default, the output is sent to STD out, so the report warnings only option may be useful with this option. Okay, let's see if it tells me how to set it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. Okay, so if I go into my cron jobs, which we went through before, Okay, so if we put it in there, 
Okay, Anta has a cron job. Let's find out where it is because I can't remember the path to it. So, which RK Hunter means a local bin? Yeah, of course. Where else? Let's do that at 30, 23, start, start, start. Boot. I think that's all we need to put in there. What did it say about cron? It assumes. Well, yeah. Several in it. When this option is used, check no colours and skip priest key press are assumed so that literally should be all we need and that'll run every night at half past 11. i wonder if i can trigger that mm. i'm not sure it's actually done anything there let me you know not sure find out in a minute okay i'm going to quickly check my email and see if anything's come through oh yeah i'd have to check that after 11 30 tonight i don't think running it really did much it is running in the background just don't know if it's emailing. Yeah, there we go. What is it? <laughs> now, I'll be honest, I would have expected a bit, bit more than inspect the machine. It may be infected. I was expecting to actually see the warnings, but, you know, that's fine. As long as it's only warnings... I wouldn't worry too much. I would still inspect and make sure of those warnings. But I was expecting more. Never mind. Anywho. So, that probably means I could probably run that from Crontab with the normal options and just let it email me the entire thing. Might try that and see. Not now. In my own time. You guys go off and do what what you want to do with RK Hunter at least check it out if it, it if you got other solutions in place I use those I, I would use this in tandem with normal antivirus and see how you go hopefully you find this useful and please do share in the comments if you're using RK Hunter or an alternative I would very much like to check them out don't forget to comment share like subscribe dislike if you really like dislike and i'll see you in the next video take care